How does an artist use light and shadow? Artists use light and shadow to create realistic paintings and drawings. They use it to tell a story and to create a mood when it comes to art. Therefore, it is important to understand the fundamentals of light and form to work with colors. So, in this week's video, I will show you how I use light and shadow to capture the appearance of an apple in black and white. Using a charcoal pencil, I outline an apple. This is a simple line drawing and is rather flat. When I first began to practice drawing, I learned how to use charcoal to create detailed work on paper to better understand values before moving on to pastel and paint. I find as a beginner, it is best to learn how to draw with graphite or charcoal because it will be easier to transfer what you learn to working in other mediums. To portray the illusion of an apple, I mop out the light sources. In the final drawing, the lightest area will be in the top left, casting the shadow to the lower right side of the apple. I sketched in these key areas. The first step is to identify the main light source. This is the side turned towards the light. It includes the highlighted area where the light hits directly, creating a shiny white spot. Also, it is where the light and shadow fade into each other to create off tones. Second, I find the core shadow. It will always be the darkest side of the form, far away from the light. The third step is to locate the reflected light. This appears on the side with the shadow next to the core. I fill in the drawing using a soft cloth to add a mid-tone. Using a kneaded eraser, I remove charcoal from the light areas. Next, I added the core shadow and reflected light, followed by the cast shadow. Adding these values to a drawing gives a sense of depth, influencing your perception when viewing the form. Completing a detailed sketch in black and white helps you to identify your light and dark areas and makes it easier to transition to working with colors. I use thick charcoal to shade in the background. I could have left it white, but I preferred to add a dark background to my charcoal drawings because it defines the form, creates contrast, and blends the outline of the apple, making the outline no longer visible. Next week, we will look at how to create folio charts, the different shading techniques, and tonal studies of geometric forms. Don't forget to like and subscribe for weekly art tips, inspirational and creative videos. Comment below and share any suggestions for future videos. Until next time.